Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. In this video, what I want to talk about is um, I get this question a lot like, how much should I code every day? And also, where should I go to practice coding? So, in this video, I'm going to try to tackle both of those concepts. Uh, so, without any further ado, let's jump right into it. First of all, let's start off with where you should be going to code. So a lot of you guys get hung up on what resources to use, what to code about. Um, it's sometimes a very confusing thing, and I get it. So uh, I'll give you a few few resources here, all right? Uh, one of the resources you could try is HackerRank.com. Another resource is Project Euler, okay? And uh, these are two good resources to start off with. Another resource is CodeFights.com. All three of these resources are fantastic to just practice coding exercises. When you go to these websites, try to do the easy exercises first. So this should give you a good basis of where should you go to practice doing coding exercises and maybe even coding projects. Now, the different question is, what should you do about when, when it comes to um, how long should you be coding every day? That's the second question that I get very frequently. In terms of the length, there's no one good time, but just make it a goal to try to say, you know, code one hour a day. I get it, you're busy, you probably already have a job, you're doing things in your life. Now that, you know, makes it a little bit more difficult. So if you can make even half hour, one hour, stick with that and just practice, right? It's okay to set a bigger, crazier, more obsessive goal. If you fail it, that's okay. Just reduce your time if you can't keep up with it. But you know, in the start, try to set up some kind of crazy goal. Like for example, when I started, I set up my goal to be 18 hours a day. I wasn't doing 18 hours, but I was doing 16 hours or 15 hours a day coding. So, um, you know, th I, I had no life. But you probably have a life. You have a wife, a girlfriend, or maybe you're just a college student and you got things going on or you have a job, whatever it is, right? You're busy and you don't have all the time in the world. So when you have less time, you know, just go, okay, I'm gonna spend one and a half hour, one hour. And I promise you have one or two hours, right? Let's be honest, like, what do you do? You have a job, then you come home, um, maybe you have some time that uh, spent commuting, maybe you have to study a little bit, but if you take away all the time, your sleeping time, all that, you still always have four to five hours left. So instead of you know, going, oh, I just need to watch some Netflix or chill, or I just need to watch some Game of Thrones. No, you don't have to do that, right? It's not like if you don't do that, your energy reserves just get like used up. You know, energy is not one of those things that can get used up. Energy is unlimited. That's one of your resources that you can exploit and take advantage of. Like Gary Vee says, hustle is the most controllable aspect of your life, right? So, and Grant Cardone says something similar, like you don't run out of energy. Uh, there's no such thing, right? And uh, Grant Cardone, and I also say this, you're not tired, you're uninspired, right? That's really what it is. So focus on uh, just doing the things that move you forward and you'll find that you'll be tapping into this reserve of energy that you didn't even know you had, right? You come from your job, you're exhausted, but it, it's you're really exhausted a lot of times of, of a life of mediocrity. You're not exhausted of all the things that you're doing. Because think about it, sometimes you go on this awesome vacation and you have all this stuff planned out, right? In the same day, you'll go ski lifting, you'll go to the pool, you'll go like see some museum, I don't know, you'll do like 50 different things. If you were that tired, you wouldn't be able to do all of that, right? How come you sit at your desk at your job for eight hours and you come home and tired? That doesn't even make any sense. How could you be tired of just sitting on a desk or, you know, doing something random where you're sitting most of the times? So uh, being tired is a myth. You just need to replace. Um, that's how you find time. You need to replace the fun things that you think you need to do to free yourself up. You don't have to do them. And instead, and you know, I'm, I'm not trying to speak from this like high moral ground. I was in that same exact spot where I would, um, you know, watch all those things and I would just like lay in my bed and you know, be like, okay, I gotta watch chess or I gotta watch Game of Thrones or I gotta watch House of Cards or Narcos or whatever. Just replace all that or replace some of it with coding. Okay, and it could be 30 minutes or an hour. Try to shoot for a higher goal. I'm not big on make your goals really small because when they're so small, they don't get you excited. 
So you're gonna underestimate the work you need to do to improve. So overestimate your goals, set something that is exciting, right? Uh, if you do one hour, half hour a day, sure, you could become a really good developer in one or two years. But how about you go, I'll try to do two or three hours a day. Now you can become a pretty decent developer in two to three months. And you can be actually looking to get internships and local uh, or junior developer jobs. Something gets started in three to four months. So set a bigger goal, spend more time learning the things that you need to do. Um, and that's how you'll get more time, right? Just use that time you use on Netflix to use for coding when you get home. And that should be something that hopefully excites you and gets you going, okay? So I gave you places where you can go go to code. I've told you how long you should be coding for and I've also t told you how you can find that extra time that you think that you don't have, okay? So with that, let me know in the comments below, you know, make a commitment in the comments below. I want you to say, hey, Kazi, yes, I'm going to be committing one to two hours a day to improve. Because if you don't do it and you just sit on your ass and you just watch this video, it's not going to do anything, right? I, you could sit and consume all my content, but if you're not putting in action, you're not getting any further. So I want you to make a comment, make a commitment to me right now that this is something that you're going to be acting on. And um, I will check in with you and everybody from the Clever Programmer community is here and they will check in with you as well. So please do that and I want you to start doing this right away, okay? That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I love your faces off and I'll see you in the next video.